Princess Eugene and her husband Jack Brooksbank recently announced they're expecting their second child this summer. Sparking rumours they could also be gearing up for a big house move. With the young family expanding, the couple might be looking for somewhere with a little bit more space. The family currently split their time between Portugal and the UK after they moved to the Costa Terra Golf and Ocean Club as part of Jack's work managing a 300 home development with property magnate Mike Meldman. While in London, it's thought they've been staying at Nottingham Cottage in the grounds of Kensington Palace. Known by the family as Not Cot, the property has also been a home for the Prince and Princess of Wales following their wedding in 2011 and the Sussexes before they relocated to Frogmore Cottage. So Eugene and Jack have been staying at Not Cot, not at Frogmore. That would indicate that they don't have anything to do with Harry and Meghan now. The York girls all smiles at the Princess of Wales together at the Christmas concert. The York girls, Andrew and Fergie at the Sandringham Walk, and no Eugene mention in the spare book. This is a 180 turn from their previous behaviour. Eugene should have kicked their butts out of her life after the wedding pregnancy reveal. Wasn't the word on the street previously that everyone already knew that she was pregnant because of all the grandchildren or in the WhatsApp group chat? Megan vigorously and desperately courted press speculation by suggestively leaving her coat unbuttoned as to reveal a baby bump. No matter what anyone's take is on the pregnancy or surrogacy whatever conspiracies. In his book, Harry's confirmed that he and Megan did announce Markle's first pregnancy at Princess Eugene's wedding. Detailing Meghan's pregnancy with their first child, Archie, Harry said they felt obliged to tell his family the news in person before leaving for their tour of Australia. They chose his cousin's wedding to make the announcement as the wider members of the royal family would all be in attendance. Ahead of the drinks reception, the couple intercepted Charles in his Windsor office, and Harry said he was delighted to see his father's wide smile after finding out he was going to be a grandfather for the fourth time. Following this, the Sussexes then headed over to St George's Hall, where the drinks reception was being held to tell Prince William. He echoed their father's sentiment and urged them to immediately tell Kate. The Princess of Wales was across the room speaking with her sister Pippa, who was expecting a son Arthur at the time. Describing Kate's reaction, Harry wrote, She also gave a big smile and hearty congratulations. They both reacted exactly as I'd hoped, and as I'd wished. Also, the couple didn't make the news public until days later. Princess Eugene's mother Sarah Ferguson was said to be furious that the couple upstaged the bride. In their book, Royals at War, investigative journalists Dylan Howard and Andy Tillett wrote, This was a huge social gaffe. Even if you weren't a royal, stealing the limelight from Eugene, who was furious, as was her mother Sarah. Eugene shared their exciting news on her Instagram page alongside an adorable picture of August kissing a baby bump. She wrote, We're so excited to share that there'll be a new addition to our family this summer. Wonder if Meghan will try to one-up again. If Megs was pregnant again, she'd announce on the coronation day. 